go. Real quick, let's take a look what comes in the box. We have the phone itself, and they also include a screen protector and a phone case. Now, one thing, this is not really a US phone per se, so you're gonna have a hard time finding a case and screen cover for this just because they're just not around. So it's nice they included those. They're not the fanciest phone cover, but it gets the job done. I've actually been using it without the phone cover just because I love the thinness of the phone. So also we have the headphones, we have a charging cable, a battery, and the charging box. So real quick, let's talk about the specs on this phone. It has a full five inch display and the display is sharp. It looks really good for both videos and gaming, pictures, internet surfing. It is a sharp, crisp screen. It has a octa-core processor and this is running Android KitKat 4.4. Now it has one gigabyte of RAM inside, so it's pretty fast. It has eight gigabytes of eternal storage, and it has a micro SD card slot for additional storage if you'd need that. It has a 13 megapixel HD camera. Now it's eight millimeters thin. I love the thinness of this phone. The iPhone 6 is seven millimeters thin, so this is just a millimeter thicker, but it feels excellent. I love the thinness of it, and it just feels really good in the hand. Let's take a look around the phone here. We'll start here on top. We have the audio. Uh, jack there for the headphones you just plug that in there on the side we have the power button that's also the sleep and awake button feels really good super responsive no problems there on the bottom we have this little microphone it looks like and then we have the charging ports so the charging ports down on the bottom on the other side we have the volume rockers turn it up and down now on the back we have, you can see the camera there with a flash right under that. We can go ahead and peel this plastic back cover off and we can see the battery inside. This is a 3.7 volt battery, 2200 milliamps and you can see it says Posh Mobile right there on that. If we take this battery out, you can see we have the access to the two SIM card slots. You can use two different SIM cards. I only have one SIM card, so uh, I, I don't have a use for a second one, but that's nice, I suppose, if you had a different line or a business line or something like that. To the right of that, we have a micro SD card, so you can add additional storage to this, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look around the phone here itself. You can see I've already added some widgets. That's something kind of new to me. I haven't used widgets really with my iPhone. Uh, I'm sure you can get them, but I just really haven't used them. But I found I could add widgets on this. They were useful. I have Pandora and a weather app. You can see I can swipe through the different pages. I have the different apps I've downloaded like Skype, Instagram. Uh, we have the built-in ones like music and the camera. The camera. Let's talk about the camera here for a second. As you can see, it does have a 13 megapixel camera and it has tons of different options here for taking pictures. We have motion tracking, uh, live photo mode. We have a whole different, tons of different things you can do, adding a flash, uh, just tons of different filters, things like that. So they pack quite a bit into the camera functions and things like that. Now for the camera response mode, it isn't as quick as what I'm used to on the iPhone 6, but it's still pretty decently quick and focuses pretty good. And the pictures, I'm not sure if they're a full 13 megapixels, but that, that's what they claim, but they still turn out pretty good. The video is pretty good as well, and I actually did a just a quick video I'll play now so you can hear the audio and see what the video is like. 